What's up guys, welcome back to Halfman Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So I've been using iOS 12.5.5 for about two days now. And this is my mini follow-up review. As you can see, the software is up to date and it's iOS 12.5.5. And the build number that came with this update, as you can see, is 16H62. So I've been getting a lot of requests from a number of people that want to know how good the battery is and performance overall on this update after coming from 12.5.4 so the update size for me wasn't too big and since updating i would say that i've been trying to test battery out as much as possible i've been viewing a lot of youtube videos since you know youtube takes most of my battery charge and i'm happy to say that when it comes to this update it actually fixes a lot of issues that were draining battery in the background compared to what i had before so if we go into the settings and go to where it says battery right there you'll be able to see that my screen on time you can see how it is here and you can see when i basically charged my device it didn't like exactly reach 100 percent i've been using it since then without charge and this time here it was on the power or it was connected to a power source so you can see here that last charge was at 6 35 a.m and right now the time is 4 24 p.m so same day and we're just gonna try and focus on this day since you know it's when i did the most of the testing but you can see my screen on time during the last 10 days and today being a friday you can see that the screen on time that i have is roughly two and a half hours and i used about 50 percent of charge now this is not regular usage if you see my screen on time you will notice that you know youtube took up like 30 percent of my screen on time testing or the battery and you can show the activity there that you know it took about three hours 13 minutes watching youtube and then i took you know some time on instagram and then also it was running in the background you can see youtube spent about 32 minutes instagram about 45 and so on and if we go to my screen on time section here you will notice that entertainment takes up most of my testing so i was on social media heavily and you can see entertainment basically takes everything and then creativity takes the second portion here and productivity is the least usage and basically as you can see i've been using it even more than above average it's more than i tested ios 12.5.4 you can see i'm about almost two hours above average you can see here that when you open up applications like youtube you can see that they open up pretty quick let's close most of these applications and then i'll show you how it opens so let's open youtube you can see that it opens up you know like how an iphone 6 plus usually opens up so when you are connected to a 5g network like this one it will use more um, battery charge since you're drawing more data and bandwidth so that's how i've been testing it connected to my 5g wi-fi and basically just watching some half men half tech videos and also other uh, channels here and by the way if this is your first time seeing me or watching my videos i do cover a lot of um ios videos so watch os and apple related content so if this is something that interests you a sub to the channel would be great so battery wise i'm happy with the battery that i'm getting and in case you are seeing that your battery is not holding up what you want to do is go to uh, see your maximum health capacity by going to your battery health so you go to settings and then you go to battery and then you go to battery health and you see your maximum health capacity so this is a measure of battery capacity relative to when it was new and you can always see the percentage you can see for me on my iphone 6 plus here it's actually on 83 percent and apple recommends replacing your battery uh when you have like a percentage that's about 80 percent and below so 
i'm almost there but i still have about three percent before i reach 80 so if yours is at 80 percent and you feel like you're not getting the maximum peak percentage it could be that your battery is almost up for replacement and also for an iphone apple recommends that you replace your battery after 1000 charge cycles so on an iphone there is a way you can che check how much or how many charge cycles you do have and i did a video on this i will leave it in the description of this video and if your charge cycles are close to or above 1000 then i do recommend also you look into replacing your battery now some of these devices that are supported on ios 12 5.5 are quite old we have the iphone 5s the iphone 6 and so on as well as the first generation ipad so if you have some of those devices you know and you've never replaced the battery this is a way that you can check whether your battery is at peak performance or it's within recommended range but other than that you can see for me my battery performance has been great since upgrading or updating to ios 12.5.5 now when it comes to some additional new changes that i noticed i'm not sure whether this has been added with this update but i noticed that we have a new splash screen when it comes to notes and it says uh, add almost anything capture documents photos maps and more for a richer notes experience and then notes to self or with anyone basically you can tag people and then sketch your thoughts through notes so that's a new splash screen and the last splash screen that i saw after updating was with the calendar app and you can see that you it has like found events time to leave and location suggestions so this is something that you can check out after you've updated that's what i noticed for me on my device but other than that i'm happy with the battery life that i'm getting this is very heavy usage streaming and testing different sites and basically yeah it's a good update i would recommend you update your device and i'm not experiencing like major battery drain or drastic drain where your device is like on 50 percent and then it drops to like 25 percent at once you can see the drop there that it's quite gradual and that is normal so this is how it's been for me when it comes to ios 12.5.5 if you like this video then please leave a like and as always don't forget to subscribe to half man half tech and stay safe have a great weekend and i'll definitely see you in the next video very soon peace